Okay, so we're moving on to lesson two on subtraction of fractions. Don't forget to put your name on your page. Okay, so uh, with subtraction of fractions, um, it really works uh, quite similar to the way that we did addition. So we kind of had the same uh, four steps, except at the end we're going to do a, subtract, a subtraction. So the first thing we need to do uh, is we're going to list uh, the first few multiples of each of our denominators. So um, uh, we're going to list maybe the first four or five uh, multiples. Uh, and what we're looking for is we're looking for the lowest common denominator. Now remember that um, we can actually use any common denominator. Uh, it doesn't have to be the lowest, but the lowest one is the one that makes it the easiest for us moving forward. Once we have our lowest common denominator, we're going to rewrite each fraction uh, as an equivalent fraction using that uh, lowest common denominator. And last but not least, we actually do our work. Subtract. Okay, so let's see what this is going to look like. Uh, I've got an example here, uh, 3 fifths minus 1 third. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look for some multiples of my denominator. So first up is 5, and my multiples are 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and then it keeps going. Um, my multiples for 3 are 3, 6, 9, 12, uh, 15. And as soon as I get to 15, I can stop because I know that I've got a multiple in common. So 15 is going to be my lowest common denominator. So now I need to convert um, both of these fractions into equivalent fractions. So then instead of being over 5 or over 3, they're actually over 15. So let's start with 3 fifths. 3 fifths, I want that to be something over 15. Now you can look at this and say, well, if I multiply this by 3, I'll get 15. So I have to do the same thing to the top. And what I end up with is 3 times 3 is 9 over 15. I'm going to do the same thing here with 1 third. So I want 1 third to be something over 15. Uh, 3 times 5 gives me 15. So 1 times 5 gives me 5. Okay, now we can see that we've got our equivalent fractions and we're dealing with the same denominator. So now it's going to be really easy for us to do our subtraction. Okay, our last step is 9 fifteenths minus 5 fifteenths and 9 minus 5 is 4 fifteenths. Okay, remember that when we do our subtraction, just like with we, when we did our additions, our, uh, our numerator, pardon me, our denominator doesn't change in the process. So our denominator is the same all the way across the board. All right, let's do one more example. Okay, let's try this example. We've got uh, four quarters minus one fifth. So let's find some multiples. Multiples of four include four, eight, twelve, 16 and 20. Multiples of 5 include 5, 10, 15, 20. And I'm going to stop right there because I found a multiple that they have in common. So I'm going to change each of uh, these fractions so that they're equivalent to fractions that are over 20. So 5 quarters. We want that to be something divided by 20. Uh, if I multiply 4 by 5, that turns into 20. So I'm going to do the same thing to the top, and I get 25 over 20. I'll do the same thing with 1 fifth. 1 fifth, I want that to be something over 20. If I multiply 5 times 4, I get 20. So 
So I'm going to multiply this by 4 as well, and I get 4 over 20. Now my last step is to just go ahead and do my subtraction. So 25 over 20 minus 4 over 20. Remember that my denominator stays the same, and I just subtract the top. So 25 minus 4 is 21.